Hey, I'm b ah. Well, hello. Um, special guest. Th th this is um, uh, for those of you who don't know her. This is my wife Stormy, and uh, she is joining me in this particular Let's Play video to help out. Uh, just because I was able to make this a land world thanks to some of the features in 1.3.1 um, so you don't need to pay for your own server anymore you don't need to set up a full server you can just click a few buttons and now she's running off okay <laughs> um, I wanted to also show that in the process of mining I found some diamonds a whole two diamonds so yeah just enough that I, I guess I can make a couple diamond shovels. Um, so that's good, but let's put that in storage. And let's go back up to the top and show what's been going on since our last video. I still think this is like going over rumble strips. Or driving in Pennsylvania. Uh, yes, you're right. Or driving in Pennsylvania. Okay, and I've been labeling things, and I don't have a particular chest for diamonds, so I'm just going to put it in miscellaneous crafted. I have ore and metal, but I don't really think diamonds could be called ore or metal, but, you know, whatever. Alright, so, farm's doing pretty good. I've expanded it a bit. Planted a few more trees. Uh, the tree farm is almost perfect. It's oh, it's very easy to get up to the top of the tree and pretty much dig straight down uh, through the tree with a hatchet. Let's dig through the tree. Yeah, well, I guess that works. Um, so it makes it a lot easier even when super large trees uh, get planted. And you're, you're taking out my trees. Okay, well... It, we could have a small tree, but, you know, whatever. Okay. Uh, so, um, planted a couple more trees, as you can see, and we're going to start working on the house, like I said last time. That's what we were going to be doing. And do do do. It's going to be a tree house, because it can be. And I haven't really worked out all the dimensions yet, but we'll see. Oh, I said we could have a small tree, just not too many of them. Okay. Well, the idea here is to have it be two blocks off the ground because endermen cannot spawn underneath it then and I'll probably rig up some type of water system down here so that you know mobs can't hang out underneath either and that'll make it a lot safer overall for anyone who happens to be hanging out here should be noted at the same time we're doing this, uh, Stormy's also in vent with uh, some mutual friends of ours, so I don't know how much of her talking you'll be able to hear over my microphone, but you'll occasionally probably hear her talking to people who are not involved in this whatsoever, but that's okay. Actually, that would be including Eclipse, who is the first subscriber, well, no, second subscriber to my channel ever, which is kind of nice to have a subscriber. Makes me feel special. <laughs> it's, I was a nobody, then somebody subscribed, and then somebody else subscribed, and now I have two followers. Granted, I gained both of those fathers before I started doing Let's Play videos, so I may chase them both away pretty fast. At the t 
time that I'm recording this, which is episode, I want to say, four, five? Okay, it's five. I've only uploaded the first two, so I have no idea what kind of reaction I'm going to get from the previous ones, or if anyone's watching them at all. Actually, what I could probably do is turn underneath here into some type of monster grinder, but I'll, I'll work on exactly what I'm doing with that later. Yeah, I'm making it three high down there. It, it's it's pretty well lit, so I'm not that worried about things spawning in there. Uh, even the, the random Enderman um, isn't going to really harm me that much. Unless he moves a block that's blocking lava. But in that case, I'll get Sweet Revenge anyway. Um, I, I'm not specifically going through and removing dirt blocks unless they get in my way. And I did this wrong. As viewers are probably noticing, I've gone back to using stone tools. I wasn't getting as much iron as I would like. Matter of fact, I was using up iron a lot faster than I was finding it. So... Went back to stone tools for now to conserve precious resources. Yes, and, and, and Stormy just likes making stone tools just to use up the cobblestone. Yeah, because it's what the world is primarily made of. Which is why you see so many cobblestone castles as first projects that people make. Or third or fourth or fifth projects. I decided to go fancy with stone brick for my border. here, And, oh, I can't believe I did that. Go away, go away, go away. There we go. That tree is taking forever to grow. I'm just gonna, you know, get a little something. Ah, more iron, wonderful. And let's see if this works. Ah! <laughs> Leaves in my face. Well, it worked. I, I now have a tree. It's a it's a small tree. It's the same size as the last one. It's very small. Fine. I'll, I'll get rid of the small tree in the hopes that I'll be able to get a larger one to grow. Again. Ooh, that's much better. Mm 
Wonderful gravel. I can use that for helping to get rid of all the water so I can dig out more sand. to start off. That's a start. Need more wood. You're having video problems? No, I'm not going to expand the tree farm. I'm just going to keep it as it is and replant whatever I dig up. It occurs to me that now that I have it set up so I can record in-game sound and my voice, and I have someone to talk to, I am talking less in this video than I have in all the previous videos. I have no idea why. I don't know. Maybe just because it's raining and I like the sound of the rain. Oh, apparently I'm hungry.
sides. I am very pleased with how well that works. Just backing up and placing blocks down. Usually I run into some type of problem where I end up placing two blocks on top of themselves or I leave huge gaps. That timed itself pretty well. I have no idea what I did right, so I won't be able to repeat the process very well.